Hi, I'm Lori. This is Maker High, and today we're going to talk about E6000. Now, before we get into the main video, I want to point out that this comes in clear black and white, just so nobody gets confused. Now, I'm going to start off with the pros, and I love this stuff. One of the things I really like to do is spread it out on a silicone sheet, wait for it to dry, and then cut it into the specific shape that I want. Now, I cut it into this strip, and you can see there that I took a Sharpie and marked off one inch because I want to show you guys just how elastic this is. It is crazy. This, this can actually stretch up to seven times. I just don't have the hand strength to really stretch it out that far. And it will just snap right back into its original shape. And you can see there, right back to the one inch mark. It really is kind of amazing. Um, it's a glue, but it's also kind of a one part flexible epoxy. Like, I don't know why more people don't use this. Uh, it is also waterproof, which is very useful. It is non-flammable once it is entirely dry. Um, it is photo safe, so if you're using it for archival quality, totally good there. You can use it indoor and outdoor in extreme temperatures. Like, and I'm gonna do Celsius for people who aren't here in the States, so you can see that too. It takes paint really, really well. It is entirely self-leveling, which is pretty cool, I think. Um, you can also throw this in the washer and the dryer, which is how I found it in the first place, because I saw that on the front and I was like, really? And that was years ago, and I have been using it for so much stuff ever since, like, I probably use it for more than I should. Um, but uh, one of the things that it's really popular for is attaching trim and rhinestones. If you're going to do this, just make sure you use a really thin coat because that is all you're going to need. And I like to uh, apply it with a toothpick just because it gives me more control. Once you have it where you want it, just pat it down. And it usually takes about four hours to dry. And this is only after an hour. And you can see the kind of bond it's already forming between the rickrack and the fabric. It's really, really crazy. I will recommend waiting the full 24 hours for it to cure though, before you throw it in the washer and the dryer. The other thing I really like to use this with is glitter. Now, again, I think you guys know that I make puppets and sometimes I need the glitter to be really flexible and most glitter glue is not. However, when I use it with the E6000 and I mix it up, it stays really, really flexible, especially if I'm doing uh, the spread it out, cut it out method. And you can see it doesn't lose any of its luster at all. It still looks really, really shiny. Um, and actually once E6000 starts to dry, it will actually contract away from the glitter, but still hold on to it. And that is one of the things that you have to remember with E6000 is that as it dries, it contracts. But you can see, like, that's like a super close up view. So you can see how much the glue is retracted. I also like to use this with silicone molds for making puppet eyes, because once it dries, I can kind of cut it and shape it and do what I want to with it. It's really lightweight. It's super flexible. If you do decide to use it with silicone, stay away from Dollar Store because it's not 100% silicone. Um, but you can see here, it does hold on to the sides of the mold, but when it dries, it does contract. And I used it with some stickles because I like stickles too. Uh, anyway, <laughs> you can find this at a bunch of different retailers in different quantities. Um, just make sure you get the color that you want. It's up there in the corner, black, white, clear. Uh, but you can find this anywhere from Walmart to Home Depot. Uh, now real quick, here are the cons and I'm gonna save the biggest one for last. So do not use this with acrylic paint. Now you can paint on top of it with acrylic paint. Don't try to mix it in. It will immediately dry and harden. Um, also, this stuff kind of has a mind of its own. And once it starts coming out, it wants to keep coming out. So be aware when you take off the lid to do it over a protected surface because it's, it's coming and it's not stopping. Um, <laughs> it will stop eventually. Uh, and once it does, the other thing you really want to make sure that you do is to clean off the nozzle before you put the cap on it. If you don't, it's going to be really difficult to take off. You're going to get these glue boogers. And, you know, when I forget, I always need a pair of pliers to take mine off. So, yeah, don't do that. Uh, learn from my experience. 
Also, the, the bigger glob you use, the longer it's going to take to dry and cure. Now, this is after an hour for a big glob, and you can see there's a skin on it, but the inside of it is not cured at all. Uh, you can also apply this with uh, a bag. Now, remember, this is self-leveling, so even if you're like very, very precise, it's still going to spread out. And the other thing you're going to want to remember is not to use it with styrofoam because it's going to eat right through it like Pac-Man, just nom 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 nom. So yeah, not that. Uh, also make sure you use this in a super well ventilated area or with a respirator. It always makes me dizzy if I forget to do that. So yeah, really important. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and I think that's it for this video. If you have questions, leave them in the comments below and I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye!